Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to the third episode of Daily Investments. So, England, I've just beat Tunisia, or Tunisia, and they've literally only just beat them because they've been in the last minute. But that really doesn't matter because we're going to be doing a daily investment. Okay, so these investments are for the Festival of Foot, which is uh, coming on Wednesday. Basically, we're going to get like premium SBCs, first World Cup uh, team of the week, probably some other, other lovely promos, which I can't wait for. Alright, so what I've done is I've compiled a list on a piece of paper of the best investments. Now, these investments can be like 83, basically like some 83s. And the majority of them are where there are not many players in the same position. So, for example, let's say Kimmich. There aren't many right backs who are German or high rated German right backs, or there's just not any high rated, men, high -rated uh, right backs in general. So, let's get underway with the first investment. So, the first thing I'd like to say is Path Glory, uh, Path Glory Gabriel Jesus. 170k still, obviously not too shabby. But what we're going to start is actually going to be some of the Prem uh, left mids. Now, not going to lie, a few of the Prem left mids have got a little bit cheaper. Like the Sane's got relatively cheaper, Son's got kind of cheaper, but one of the go-to guys is going to be Mr. Anatovic. Now, he's a little bit pricey right now because I think they've just had a really good SBC after the England game. So uh, just wait for them to go down to about 1-2, but Anatovic is pretty decent. A lot of people go straight towards the Prem because... Um, I guess the Premier is like the first league, and it's really easy because there's a lot of nations. So this is, uh, so yeah, could be good because of that. So we got the Prem. Now there's actually two things I'd say. If it's a formation with left mid, go with Anatovic. If it's a formation with left wings, go with the man Delafeu. Delafeu is also great ceiling sort of with all the La Liga players. Loads of high-rated La Liga players who achieve like Bruno, Adjuris, Aspas, and so on and so on. So there we go. We got them too. We're now going to head over to some of the really cheaper non-rares from the Prem, which are, uh, I'd say, very, very low risk. So you're just going to hold on to these. These can one be for the daily SBCs because they're definitely starting to pick up the um, definitely starting to pick up the rating and the requirements of the daily SBCs and give us better rewards. We're seeing a lot more prime packs coming and less uh, less 7.5k packs. You know, absolutely gutted. Love them 7.5s, but yeah, Jack is not bad. You know, he's from a weird nation. He's a non-rare and he's high rare from the Prem. Happy days. We're also going to head over to Mr. Ashley Williams, which is pretty decent. There you go. Even more happy days right there. Mr. Ashley Williams right here. Centre-back 600 coins again. Weird nation. Non-rare. high red centre-back. Extremely happy days. We're then going to head over to the Kazawa. So I think Kazawa's a little bit more than I'm willing to uh, pay for him at the moment. But, good thing about Kazawa. Highest rated uh, league and left back. Highest rated like French left back in the league. So good for the strong links. Not too shabby again. Would probably recommend picking him up under 1k as, a, as I have a voice crack right there. Delightful. 19. Still having voice cracks. Can't, uh, can't wait to hit puberty. Alright, then we're gonna, we then got the likes of Garai. Garai is allegedly also a good investment. Now, I'd probably wait for Garai to get a little bit cheaper. Probably say like 2k or cheaper. Or like less than 2k. Like maybe 1.7. But there's Garai. The reason Garai is brilliant because he's a high rated player, he's non rare, which means he's high rated, therefore, going to be using a lot of SPCs, but he's also non rare, therefore, there's not too many of him on the market. So uh, that's why he's a decent little uh, decent little investment. Then we're going to head over to the likes of Anigo Martinez. Here we go. If I can scroll. There you go. We're then going to head over to Anigo Martinez. It's about 1.2k, so happy days with him. Again, another high rated non rare player, therefore, really, really good for SPCs. See, in the past, this guy goes to like 4k. Whereas his, uh, his counterpart or counter partner of Ruiz, who's another 82 red La Liga centre-back, might go to like 2.5k. Just because he's non-rare, there's a lot less in the market, therefore his supply just gets wiped off the market a lot, lot faster. So we're now going to go to, uh, I mean we'll go to Ruiz right now and just show you right now. Ruiz is actually pretty decent because 82 rated, 900 coins is really not much of a risk. Happy days. And there you go. So he's his counterpart. The reason this is also pretty good is that La Liga has a lack of high-rated centre-backs. You've got the likes of him, Titi. You've got the likes of Jimenez. You've got the likes of Savic. And you've got the likes of some other guy. Um, but if you think about them, there's not actually many Spanish centre-backs from the La Liga, which is where you get the strong links. You've got Ramos, PK. Then you go down to some 83 rated player, probably. I oh, know, but do you go to an 83? I don't think there is an 83. Uh, then you go to... I oh, know. Amazing. Amazing. These videos are amazing. But uh, then you go to the 282, well basically the two highest rate other than PK are the 282s and that's Anigo Martinez and Ruiz. You then go down to Nacho Fernanda, Nacho, the guy who scored the nice volley and uh, Bartra, I think is another high rate, he might even be 80 rated. And uh, so on and so on. So basically there's not many high rate uh, Spanish centre backs, so therefore he's great for the, uh, the chemistry. This is what I'm trying to convey. 
We then have likes of Kimmich. Kimmich, as I said earlier, you know, he's pretty decent because the Bundesliga has a lack of high red right backs. Germany has a lack of high red right backs. In fact, if you look at some of the other high red right backs, they're already like 3 to 4k. And uh, I mean, he's only 2.5k. He's, he's really good as well. Gets lots of strongings to like Sule and other Germans and other Bayern Munich players and happy, happy days. Also, apparently spontaneously, went up to 4.5k recently. No idea, no idea. There's no SBC really. Apparently, just spontaneously got went to that. I was told uh, in my stream. I think now if the likes of my like the guy of Pizcheck, the uh, the Polish urine test. It's a it's a Piz Pizcheck. I know. Uh, I surprise myself. <laughs> surprise myself sometimes. But yeah, Pizcheck right here. Try and get him for right under one three. He's also a decent card. Links up with like Top Rat, Castro, a lot of players which you will end up using the SBCs when they're high rating, high chemistry. We're then going to head over to the Juan the Fran the Man. Again, another card, 83 rated right back. Could go the likes of um, Carvajal, but Carvajal's like double the price, and it's like, hey, 1.4k. Happy day. So I say these could be for the premium SCCs or any sort of SCCs that run during the Festival of Foot. They're very cheap investments, as well as uh, potentially being good for some of the uh, the World Cup Flash SBCs. As always say, so, if you don't know, there's a brand new SBC off, off at the end of every single game. Um, to the closest hour. So let's say the game ends uh, quarter to four. The SBC will happen at four. And, uh, and so on and so on. I think that all the games end at normally quarter two. So whatever quarter two the hour is, it will come out on the hour. So we don't have too many, uh, too many players left. You know, so many really, I don't know, go on. We then got Lichtensteiger, quite good. Highest rated right back. Uh, of course, he draws with the likes of Florenzi, but he's 900 coins. Happy, happy days. Of course, uh, Caltrae got a lot of high rare players, a lot of cheap high rare players. Therefore, can easily get used with them. We now got two players left. First off, being Munchor Sule. Um, again, 2.76k. Quite, what's quite good about him is uh, German and Bundesliga centre backs in general. You go from things like Boateng, Hummels, then down to Socrates and Martinez. Then there's no one between Socrates and Martinez, and straight down to Sule. You have Sule and Naldo. Sule is German from the Bundesliga, therefore gets the strong links with like Pizcek, gets the strong links of any of the German goalkeepers, gets strong links of a lot more players than Naldo, who will just get a strong link, I guess, to Farman and, uh, and Goretzka, I guess. But there we go, the likes of Sule, Munchor Sule, not too bad. We're going to finally end this off with uh, Mr. Alex Tellez. Here's uh, something interesting. Did you know that people in Brazil speak uh, Portuguese? Which is uh, why I think it's like easier for them to get a visa in Portugal. Hey, pretty cool, right. Alright, so there you go, the likes of Alex Tellez right there. 82 rated, uh, pretty decent because there's a lack of high rated, uh, I can show you this right now. There's a lack of high-rated left back. I think so. That's pretty cool. Lack of high-rated left backs. We, I mean, we go straight from the 85s all the way down to the 82s, and there's no middleman. These cost about 6k. These cost 1.5k. Therefore, I recommend Alex Tellers. Also, perfect chem link with the likes of um, Felipe and Casillas. Of course, he links with like from Felipe and uh, a few of the others. You know, you got Ibrahimi gets a nice link with, and the likes of Pereira. So, this has been the end of the daily investments episode three. Uh, it's pretty late, so I apologise if uh, I've been talking a bit of rubbish. I know I just randomly started talking about Brazilian people speaking Portuguese, but I have to bear with because I'm only doing these in one take. So, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you guys tomorrow. And now there'll be uh, a simply the best in, uh, season. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.